Good morning students and staff. Today is Thursday the 3rd of March 2016 and today I thought I'd give you an update on where things are at with Alpha Crucis education. So first of all I'm going to read to you a scripture from Habakkuk chapter 3 which I read yesterday and it meant, meant a great deal to me. Uh, it's Habakkuk chapter chapter 3 and verse 17 to 19. Though the cherry trees don't blossom and the strawberries don't ripen, though the apples are worm-eaten and the fields, the wheat fields are stunted, though the sheep pens are sheepless and the cattle barns empty, I'm singing joyful praise to God. I'm turning cartwheels of joy to my Saviour God. Counting on God's rule to prevail, I take heart and gain strength. I run like a deer. I feel like I'm king of the mountain. There you go. And it actually says in this version, the message, right at the end in brackets, for a congregational use with a full orchestra, so how about that? So it's not just a, a little song that one person sings, it's actually, imagine thousands singing. And to me, what is it saying? That there are challenges. We may not have the best resources now that we need or we think we need. Uh, the worm-eaten apples particularly spoke to me as uh, we've got an apple tree, thankfully, in our back garden. And last weekend, my wife and I ate our first apple off our first apple tree. And sadly, all but a quarter were eaten by worms. The second apple didn't have any worms in, which was rather good. And my wife loved that. I think it could have been a bit longer on the tree. But... Yes, it, what is this passage saying? It's saying everything's not right. There are problems. We are short of stuff that we need. Yet, our heart attitude is going to be one of praise to God. We're going to turn cartwheels of praise. I think I might skip on the cartwheels, but some of you folks might. So I'll watch for you in the streets turning cartwheels. And, but I do like the phrase at the end, uh, I feel like I'm the king of the mountain. Now, I don't know whether you know that phrase, but uh, I lived in England, as you know, for a good part of my life and watched the uh, Tour de France quite regularly. And, well, not in reality, but um, digitally. And the phrase, the king of the mountain, when the cyclists have to go through the Alps or the Pyrenees or the Massif Central, is amazing. How these folk can cycle at such speeds to the top of mountains, I don't know. But it's very inspiring to me. They keep going when others would give up easily. And I think that's a great picture for us. So we're off. We're off and running. Semester one is launched well and truly and let's have a great semester. A few things to let you know of what is happening at the moment. Today, uh, 3rd of March 2016, Steve and I, Stephen Brinton and I, are moving our offices. That means that today, and potentially tomorrow, um, our contact with you might be a bit stunted as we're moving from our current locations here on Level 2 to part of the new uh, offices in level two. So it's only a matter of 50 meters move, but it means that everything has to be shifted. Uh, all the files, all the books, all the folders, all our computers and phones, it's all got to go and it's going to be a bit disruptive. So please bear with us if you're uh, needing our help. Number two. Uh, I'm very excited at the start of this year 
because we've got bachelor students, diploma students, master teaching primary, master teaching secondary. The first time we're starting with four awards in the one semester. 2011, we started with our one award, the um, master teaching primary. And this is a great leap forward this semester. It's really exciting. For me, uh, I'm particularly excited and daunted because I have EDU 101 Foundations program, Foundations subject, and I've got five students in that, which is very exciting. And running concurrently with it, online as, as well, is EDU 401, the Foundations for the Masters. And I've got six students in that. So effectively, I have 11 students um, to guide through the foundations this semester. Really, really exciting. And for those of you who are watching, you've got your first assignment this Sunday, the 6th of March. Don't miss out. Also exciting, we have two intensives coming up. 11th to 15th of April, we've got EDU 401 slash 103. I'll repeat that, edu403 slash 103, language and literacy, with Stephen Brinton. And on the 18th to 22nd of April, we've got Res 502 Action Research with me. Two intensives, very much looking forward to it and looking forward to meeting some of you. It's going to be fantastic. And finally, in this little update video, We've got our first PD day being planned, Professional Development Day, when I would love you all to come. Every single student, every single um, staff member, it would be fantastic if you could come. And I know some of you can't because you live in Mackay. But for those who can, Friday the 15th of April, Friday 15th of April uh, is going to be our first PD day for this semester. And it's particularly related to those doing EDU 500 who are obliged to be there, if they possibly can. Uh, the themes and the details about that will be coming out by email. So save the date, save the date. Friday, 15th of April in the next school holidays. Don't miss it. Be there. Love to see you. We're going to have a great time. And invite your friends in the teaching fraternity. Enough for now. God bless. Have a great semester and see you the other side of the move.